Why so serious? That always was something that rang in my head watching that new Batman movie. But seriously, in business, does business always require us to be so serious? We're going to talk about it on this episode of Speak Your Success. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Speak Your Success podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, successors? And welcome to another episode of the Speak Your Success podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and This is the show to where we pour into you, right? Not just with entrepreneurial strategy and insight, but we also come and we we share a little bit of biblical truth, right? Because, I mean, it's the word of God, so let's not play. But then even further than that, we help you make sure that you have what you need to be successful holistically, right? Not just in one area, but in multiple areas, business, spirituality life let's get into the content i was i was on a call with my brother the other day and 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 me and him uh we linked up like 2017 i think 2016 2017 i don't even know uh, at this point in time but our relationship came about in a very funny way right i was working for a nonprofit, and then he was uh partnering with an apartment complex and he was teaching the students right there they would come and stay for the after school programming or the summer programming And then I was like, hey, you mind if I sit in one day? Because I was a director over the program. And then he was just working at one of the sites helping out. And then he was like, who is this weirdo? Right, because I I, I was staying in, I was hanging around. And then one day, uh, because, you know, typically when you're meeting people at work, you typically don't communicate with them outside of work. But uh, one day... I think I ended up call. I called him for something. I'm talking with him, and he was like, "Hey, man, you want to hang out?" And I said, "Sure, why not?" Uh, and it, it it was it was divine timing because around this time in my life, this was when I was like going out often, hitting happy hour weekly. It seemed like daily, if we want to be honest. Your boy was a happy hour daily, but I prayed a prayer one day, and I said, "God." I'm scared to lose the friends that I have. I don't know if you've been there before. I'm like, God, I'm scared to lose the friends that I currently have. Can you send me some new friends? If you gon' if you gonna do this like that, can you send me some new friends? Right? And then what ended up happening? Well, then God sent me uh that friend. So shout out to my brother Mahari Takai. And then from that time of us hanging out, it turned into a night of us sharing testimony with one another that later turned into us beginning to be inseparable, right? Best friends, brothers, and really locked in. And I was talking with him the other day, and that's how I came to talking about why so serious today. And and the reason why I wanted to talk about us being so serious right why so serious is because for me one thing i began to realize is that i'm 36 right and i have goals and i have aspirations and i have dreams and visions that i want to walk out right and at times i can get so laser focused and there will be periods of time where I'm not looking to talk to friends. I'm not looking to go hang out. I'm not looking to buy the newest game or console or going to network events or things like that because I'm so laser focused of achieving my goal, right? So laser focused in achieving whatever the potential mission is at hand. And I know some of y'all will will, will resonate with me because I know that for you uh, being a high level individual, being a focused and driven individual, this is something that you want to also be able to obtain. And the first thing that I had to look at was, John, 
are you being flexible? Why so serious? If you have hard plans to do X, Y, Z with your time, to check off X, Y, Z thing on your list, are you allowing room for flexibility? Are you allowing room if you were focused on doing this? But then there was a change in the plan. There had to be a pivot. This couldn't happen. That couldn't happen. Are you allowing yourself the grace to be flexible? Right? And and and, and then as I began to think and I started to realize, no, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I don't think that I was creating that space for myself, which isn't necessarily safe, right? So that was the first thing that I was able to extract. But the second part about being so serious, y'all, being, why so serious? I had to identify that I needed a place to be able to let loose. And just like I said before, man, shout out to my brother, Mahari Takai, because he is an individual who will call me if he hasn't heard from me in a little bit of time. He'd be like, hey, man. And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, I'm just checking in, cuz. How are you? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, all right, man, we need to get together. And I'll be like, all right. Sometimes I tell him I'll hit him back with a time and then usually I don't call him back with the time because like I said, I'd be so laser focused and driven on doing what I need to do to achieve what I want to achieve. But then we end up getting together and going, hanging out, might go get a snow cone. Uh, he might, he'll bring his son, I'll bring my son and it will just hang. But I realized that he has created a space for me as a brother and as a black man to be able to have an area to where I don't have to be so serious, not having to be so uptight, understanding that being black in America and being a black man in America, there are certain things that aren't going to be celebrated. Being a husband, there are certain things that will not be celebrated by your significant other. And I'm speaking for me personally, all because why? Some of these things are expected. And what's expected is the bare minimum. And the bare minimum doesn't get celebrated because it's respected and it's expected and it's required. However, when I go hang with Mahari, he is one of those people who helps me fill my cup. Because I'll catch him up on what I've been doing, on you know how things are going at the house. He says, good job. Good job, black man. Good job. And I really appreciate this relationship dynamic because he has also helped me and shown me how I can go back and forth with, with, with him, right? Celebrating. Uh, the things that we've done in our houses and the things that we've done for ourselves that nobody else is going to applaud for, right? And knowing that if nobody else is going to applaud for these things, that's why you got your brother who just gives you a little bit of love, who gives you a little bit of push, who gives you a little bit of encouragement by creating a space for you to be able to let loose creating a space to where you can be, be and feel safe from the outside world from the factors of everything going on around you we need a safe space man or woman you need a safe space and i would suggest that it's a safe space with somebody who is of you know who 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 is uh, of the same sex, right? And I'm saying that because both of us are married. He's married, so am I. And and therefore, I wouldn't want to create a safe space with another woman outside of the woman that I'm married to 
Yes, you can be vulnerable and open, but you can't share everything in the way that you can with somebody who is a brother or a sister of that same sex that you identify as, right? Especially if you're in a committed and marriage relationship, right? Based on what I believe with the word of God, okay? But the last thing that I had to realize, and this all came just as having this conversation with him and seeing what our relationship has grown to over the past couple of years uh, by us bumping heads and us getting into it and arguing and, and fighting. Getting to the point to learn and realize that you can't always be so serious. You can't always be so serious. Why so serious like the joker would say right but life is too stressful already to add on the extra stress to yourself john life is already too stressful to have external factors that are hanging on you for you then to say hmm I'm going to add on more additional stress. I'm going to add on more weight. We can't live like that. That will be exhausting. Okay. So today I want you to give yourself grace. Do something nice for yourself. Go enjoy. I don't know. Sitting in the grass with no shoes and no socks on. Make sure no ants are around. But get grounded. Enjoy the feeling of the grass and the dirt on your feet. Go out. Have a nice dinner for yourself. Solo, dolo. You deserve it. And I'm not saying you deserve it in the sense that you need to work for it, but you deserve it just so that you can be able to keep your mental clear. All right. So remember, be flexible. That's number one. Be ye flexible. Number two, be able to let loose. And I'm going to keep them all B's. Be unserious. All right. You can't always be serious. But family, this is Jonathan Jones, and this has been the Speak Your Success podcast. If you enjoyed this content, please feel free to send us a message at Speak Your Success Media on Instagram. And I'd love just to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Or if there's even a topic that you would like for us to unpack, talking about this world of entrepreneurship and tangible application and self-development and self-care, let me know. What can I unpack for you to help you in your business? Because I want to help you. This show is all about you. This show is for you. But all right, family, until next time, remember, Speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you and why should you live any other way?